All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the plot system, which is being made by user Jacob JHC. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new dwarf planet with a number of moons added to the far reaches of the stock solar system. And when I say far reaches, I mean far reaches. This thing has an orbit that's way out there. So let's jump right into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get. And let's just start zooming right the crap out because, oh boy, is it far away. Now, of course, our standard system goes all the way out to ELO being its furthest celestial body. But, uh, yeah, if we keep zooming out, there's Plod. Much much farther away and I really like that I love it when you get these stars well not star systems but rather planets that are just so far out they might as well be their own star system so let's uh, just start tabbing through the worlds until we get to our glorious new world of Plod, and then zoom all the way in. Now, this system, as I did mention at the beginning, is a dwarf planet with a number of different moons, as you can see here. Now, Plod itself is 105 kilometers in radius, with no atmosphere to speak of, and as you can see, it's a pretty mountainous, craggy world. And that's something you're going to see on this planet, as well as with all of its little moons. They are all very rocky worlds, with uh, <laughs> making them some pretty difficult places to land. But all in all, I quite like the planet. It's got some really nice, unique colors to it. And again, that's something you can say about all of the new celestial bodies added in by this mod. They are very colorful, adding in a nice little dose of, well, whimsy into this star system, which is very fun. Now, the first of the moons we have is quite close, as you can see right here, and it's Oob. Now, again, this one does not have an atmosphere. It is 55 kilometers in radius, and with how close it is to a uh, plot here, it can make for some interesting orbits of your spacecraft. Like when I was getting this satellite into orbit, I had it originally at 200,000 meters, and it actually made it so that my uh, satellite was going to slingshot up, but then it got caught by another bit of gravity and then swung back down and then out into the cosmos. <laughs> so yes, with how close they are, it's uh, it makes for some interesting maneuvers. Now this world, again, very, very mountainous and craggy, but with some nice flatter areas in the purple bits. And all in all, a pretty interesting world to land on. And again colorful. Now the next moon that we have is Ninkil, and this is a tiny one at nine kilometers in size. Again, no atmosphere, fun coloration, probably one of the smoother celestial bodies added in by this, not quite as large of mountains as the others. But uh, overall, just a nice purpley blue ball. Now the next one we have is Tebos, and this one is by far the smoothest, as you can see here, and has an odd little bump coming out here, which I find interesting. I always like when the uh, bodies aren't quite perfectly round. It makes it for a bit more interesting of a world. Again, cool coloring on it. I do like all the variation and gradients of colors that we do have. All in all, a pretty fun little moon, 10 kilometers in size, and once more, with no atmosphere. And that brings us to the last of the celestial bodies here in Leia, which is, I think, the craziest for you to land on. Look at this thing. It looks like a piece of pink coral, and I kind of like that. <laughs> it is seven kilometers in size. Again, no atmosphere, like with the rest of the pack. And I believe that little bit right there may be the flattest part on the entire thing. The rest is just giant, giant mountains everywhere. It is, uh... <laughs> Very, very interesting. Uh, yeah, like I said, it kind of looks like coral to me, but hey, 
it's an interesting place if you're looking for quite a challenging moon to land on. And that, yeah, that is the system of uh, Plod, with its lovely uh, dwarf planet in the center and a number of fun little moons orbiting around. So let's go take a look at them a bit closer up with our Viewmatic satellite. I did actually try to land on them this week like I did with uh, the previous episode. Oh boy, I kept rolling down the mountains. It didn't end well for my satellites. So I just put one in orbit so you could see the fun view with just how close some of these celestial bodies are. I mean, look at them. It's just... It's right the crap there, and I love that. It's it's just crazy. I mean, in the real world, these things would smash into each other by now, probably. But in the game, it makes it look fun. And with the great color variation between all these worlds, it really has a good injection of color into the star system. And with all the mountainous regions, some fun, difficult landing sites for you to go and enjoy. But that is the plot system. Not really a whole lot to talk about with this beyond that so uh yes if you would like to check out this mod for yourself which i would certainly recommend you go and do you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but that my friends is gonna be it for today i hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one